welcome along and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Today we are headed down to the shop uh, because thank you to several people in the chat uh, who pointed out that I picked up the wrong saplings for our excavator to plant, for our excavator head to plant. Um, and I kind of went, oh, does, does that really, is that really the case? Um, and, uh, and tested it and went, why can't I get any of the saplings to work? And, uh, and then worked it out. Um, because I had completely missed the second pallet in there. So, uh, we've headed down here. We are going to go and grab some new pallets. We still have the two pallets of saplings that we bought last time. Um, but we are not going to be using those. Uh, well, not immediately anyway. We might get a cedar, uh, a planter, a tree planter at some point. Uh, but for now, the ones I bought with these ones. Now, these only go in the standard uh, pulled behind tractor tree planter, um, which I didn't realize. There's nothing that indicates it either way in any of the bits here. So uh, these are the ones we want. Uh, they are... Seven thousand pounds per pallet versus uh one thousand. But whereas that has twenty, this has two hundred and forty. So I'm only going to need a single pallet of these. Uh, the ones I want are the ponderosa pines. If I can get them, here we go. Lodgepole pines go fairly high. Ponderosa pines as well. Uh, so I'm going to go for the lodgepole pines. They make some really nice big trees. We will buy this. Yes. Okay. And I come back out here. So it's 7,000 for 240. Uh, that is going to be plenty. In fact, no, it's 12,000. It's an extra 5,000 on top for the lodge pole. Um, that's okay. Uh, we will easily make that back with these. And it's such a small pallet for, uh, for so many saplings. Uh, but it will make us a huge amount of cash. Let's take this back up onto here. This is a little bit mad for this. I'd quite like to do this with the truck. Um, but I think to do that, I'm going to have to get a flatbed for my truck. And uh, and and do it that way. Uh, in order to bring this, uh, our little JCB down here. Let's bring the runners back in there we go and uh yeah we'll head back up to our logging camp get these unloaded get them loaded up into our planter and uh we can get going with getting some trees back now the suggestion was that i plant these trees in our newly created grass field over here um, which is a nice idea, but uh, what I think I'm going to do actually is plant them in this uh, sort of untouched area to, well, behind our uh, excavators at the moment over that way. So let's undo these and get our running boards out again or our, our ramps out. Start up PCB and yeah, immediately pull this off. This is not this is not the most efficient way of doing this. I'm fairly sure if we got a, a nice little trailer, uh, we could do things fairly well. But we can take that to there. We'll turn the truck off and head back over here. Right now, these should load very easily into this. That there, whoa! Forget, forget if I turn the wheel without touching the pedals, uh, this whole thing will turn. Right. So, out, and uh, we want to angle that a little bit, and then fill it up. There we go. That is now loading with those, and that has got it all filled up. Is it a... Uh, yeah, it is a full load for this. So we're going to head out onto this area of uh, scrub land behind our 
uh, bit here and just go and plant a whole load of trees. 240 saplings we have to plant in this area. And uh, this, this is going to be really good. These are, as I said, these are all lodgepole pines. These are going to uh, fairly nicely do us for what we're looking to do. So, uh, out with the arm and down. And then what I want to do is turn myself around like this. We'll turn this around like this. And this is the beauty of this setup. Uh, is the fact that we can just come along like this and plant. Yeah, so we need to make contact with the ground, plant it, and lift. And then we should be able to just do this the whole way down and just plant lots of these. And we can do it fairly randomly. Oh, contact with the ground. And we have to make contact with the ground all the time when we're doing this. Uh, in order to get them all in. Right, forwards. Yeah, I like this a lot. But with, uh, what, through 236 of them to go, this is going to be a lot of trees in this area, um, which I'm very happy about. We want as many trees to cut down as we can. Um, I think we're going to end up putting a few fairly close to each other, though. I've created a great ring of, uh, of trees at the moment, just going round and, uh, and, and basically randomly uh, putting these in. I can see where using, a, uh, using this more standard one would be quite good for this job, uh, with so many to plant. And, and we're just sort of randomly putting the excavator down uh, in various places and then uh, getting the uh, getting the whole thing just trying to empty out as many as possible we have planted 40 trees so far uh, here which is just crazy in this area and I know that I have a uh, very large area to go so 200 odd trees here is going to be fantastic uh, but it's going to take a while for them to grow these are all lodgepole pines as uh, as i said earlier and uh, i am just placing them randomly and we've broken the 50 tree barrier uh, i just want to see we're going to put this one down and then i'm just going to lift this and have a look can we see our sapling? Uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> With all this stuff around it. Makes it very hard to see them. Um, but they are there. Yeah, if we do this one. And lift. You can see it there. That's, that's much more visible. So that there is our little sapling. And, uh, and there are other ones just dotted all around over here. Um, but I have no idea where I've been planting them. I could be planting them right next to each other. I just want to fill this area uh, with a very sort of erratic, uh, random setup. I'm going to put uh, probably about 100 of them uh, in this area. Uh, we'll then go for... Uh, 50 of them a bit closer to our logging camp and then another uh, 100 over the other side of the river here all around our ore refinery because there is enough space for them around there. I'm going to pick areas of ground now where I can see them a bit better. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now, it was suggested as I was saying that I plant these in our new grass area. Um, I don't, I kind of don't want to, realism wise, uh, be cutting our new trees, really, our little saplings. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to avoid that if I can. Uh, we might, if we have some spares, put them around the edge, uh, I think. Uh, but in general i don't think we're gonna have a huge amount left to do that unless i find myself 
kind of having just dotted stuff everywhere in our other area. There we go. Let's uh, head back down this way a bit. We're at 80, 183. So we've got a few more to go yet. Uh, yeah. I can see a few. I'm beginning to be able to spot them in here. So, uh, yeah. I want to be... Uh, I want to try and spread things out a little bit. But when we're putting 100 odd saplings in the same area, uh, we are going to get a little bit of overlap. Um, and, uh, and yeah, a few of them are going to be a little bit close to each other. But that's fine. Uh, they'll still grow. And, uh, and we will still get a nice coverage of, uh, of trees around here, which will be great. Okay, we have a lot planted now. Everywhere I'm looking, I'm seeing uh, little lodgepole pine saplings in the ground. In fact, this area here seems fairly clear. We've got just 15 left to plant in this area. So, uh, yeah, anywhere I can see space, I am going to be planting these. It's actually easier to see from in cab. Uh, exactly where I've got ones. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm able to pick them out on the ground fairly easily uh, now when uh, when I'm in cab. Um, which is quite amazing considering all the little bits of greenery that we've got over here. Uh, right, with 12 to go, I'm going to go a bit more over here. We don't seem to have one in this area here. So let's put one right here. Like, oh, no ground to untap down and there. And then, yeah, I want to put some in this area here. They're not quite straight on. So, uh, yeah, there. It would have been easier to see if, uh, if I cleared this area. But that's half the fun of it. Is that uh, I don't want to clear this area. I want it to be scrubland. I want us to have... Uh, a little bit of forestry stuff under foot so that we are able to uh, to do this fairly easily turn that um, and, uh, and and have a good area uh, we might end up uh, sorting this later of course and uh, and having uh, a grassier area around here I mean we're going to have to put sheep somewhere at some point so, uh, yeah, um, but we'll see how we do. Keep forgetting to lift it off the ground instead. I keep moving it forwards and backwards. But, yeah, look at that. That just works great. And turn this, bring it around a little bit onto the floor. Just two more to go in this area, and then we're going to move the other side of the river and get some in there that spot there should be good don't see one in the immediate area so down there oh i do actually i see one right beside it never mind some of these are going to be a little bit close uh others uh i think we're going to be all right but i have none other side of here so uh yeah let's do that and down there for our last one and done right time to head the other side of the river i think where are my traps there are my traps so like that and yep yeah, back this up let's head the other side of the river and uh we're gonna drop probably another hundred uh, in the area around there and uh, yeah create a really very nicely forested area around this is both quite a fast job with this and quite a, uh, a long job with this. We are putting in 200. I can't believe it's 250 trees uh, that we can plant in one go with this without having to refill. The fact that it is quite such a big pallet uh, in comparison to the other pallets we've got. I was only expecting to plant a few trees. Uh, 250 is definitely more than I had originally uh, planned to put in these areas. 
Not to say I'm not really pleased with putting extra trees in. I think uh, the more trees that we can plant, the better. Uh, whether they'll be fully grown in time for us to be able to harvest them, uh, we'll see. I don't know what what length of time the average uh, harvest or the average uh, tree growth is. Whether it's a couple of years or, or whether it's a little bit less. Uh, but we certainly want to be uh, in any area we are replacing trees fairly quickly after we cut them. I think going forwards. Just to be sure, just to, to keep regenerating the forest around us. Yeah, look at this. This is just making very short work of all of this. Uh, but it is a lot of uh, driving around slightly randomly, placing a lot of trees in, hoping that I don't end up placing them uh, too close to each other. I don't think they are, um, but we are fitting a lot of trees in quite a small area. One advantage to using this over using a more traditional planter, of course, is the fact that we can get into places that we probably wouldn't otherwise. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great at doing that and uh, and and making it a making us able to get into those places. I'm uh, I'm really quite liking this. I mean, we have got through. Uh, over half of the saplings we have on here at the moment and they are going in very nicely it's it's the number of uh it's, it's just trying to make sure that we are in in good places to do this uh places that are going to be accessible to us going forwards and i mean our area here we are not going to be selling anytime soon. I need to make sure, though, that wherever we drop uh, these trees, they are going to be able for us to actually use and cut and uh, and load up. Um, and this area here is fairly flat and fairly accessible to us. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. Look at this. This is just zooming through this job. And uh, yeah, this is this is what I need to do today. I need to get as many of these trees planted as possible. And to do that. We're gonna empty this planter and get them done. I think we'll put the last 50 trees sort of around our new grass area. The other side. Oh wow. Oh, needs to make contact with the ground. Yeah, this is the thing. You need to angle it as well to properly make contact. That's good. That's absolutely brilliant. Can't believe how far back the area we own goes. I mean, all the way to the back here, we've got a whole load of trees that actually we could cut down here if we wanted to, uh, which is great. I mean, just means that we've got lots of extra area. Uh, that we could cut if we wanted. And uh, lots of extra area we can plant as well. So, uh, yeah, sort of another 34 odd ones to go in this area. Uh, plenty of space to put them. And uh, means that we are easily going to be uh, finishing all of these 250 trees uh, around where we are and 250 trees to cut that is uh, that is a fantastic number uh, look at that it's just so efficient this you lift you turn you drop and in goes another sapling I'm going around looking for places where i can't see any saplings in at the moment I think we've got a fairly bare patch in the middle here. So uh, we should be able to get a few around here, uh, which should be good. I'm actually driving in reverse at the moment, which is uh, confusing things a little. But on the plus side, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm able to get a few more of these in. 
And yeah, if we make sure we cover this area as uh, as well as we can. Cut up, out, and down. Uh, we should be good. Oh, let's make ground contact. There we go. Just move that around a little bit. I think we can go a little bit closer to this area here. Yeah, lots of trees. Uh, 250 trees is going to be so many. What does that take us down to? 54. We'll swing this back around. I want to head back down towards the river here because the area that we're looking to go into next is uh, is that one just straight in front of us here. So, uh, yeah, we've got four more to place. So I'm going to place them on this slope here as we head down. Um, and then, yeah, we'll cross the stream. And once we've done that, uh, we will be able to get maybe the last 50 odd in that area, just the other side of it. Slid a little bit. Uh, but yeah, and then that will be 250 new trees planted here today, uh, which is great news. I mean, that is, uh, that is going to be a wonderful bit of, uh, investment in the future of our logging on here. One thing going through all of this has shown is that, uh, actually there's a lot more trees left in this area than I thought. We've, uh, we've got several back here. We've got a whole batch the other side of the stream uh, that we could cut if we want. And I want to probably start looking at cutting some of those uh, to keep us going. We need to head down to the roller coaster, uh, see what state we're there, uh, what state we are there. Uh, it's been a few days. It's had a chance to process uh, the bits it needs to process and we'll uh, we'll see if it's moved on a stage and if it has what it needs uh, we are going to need furniture soon so uh, I need to sort that out um, but in general it's not got a huge amount to go I think to complete its current stage or stage two uh, that we were on maybe just maybe we might be getting there um, but we certainly need to look at stocking it up and uh, and see if we can sort it. Uh, we are down to uh, 18 of these trees. Uh, let's put this in this clearing bit here. That way I can see it. Uh, and this bit around here. Yep. So, yeah, just got a few more to go. Uh, and then that will be 250 odd trees planted today, uh, which is huge. I mean, that is going to reforest this area really quite nicely. Right, last tree I want to plant in this area. And then the last 10 I'm going to go and take uh, round to our main area and, uh, and just sort of Plant a few uh, dotted about where we've taken them from before, uh, just to restore a few of the uh, trees that we've, we've taken out over the other side of the road. Um, all in all, though, this has been uh, fairly successful today, I think, getting this done. So really, I want to go and put some along the top edge here. We cut a lot of trees out from near the roadway. And uh, I'd very much like to restore them. So we'll bring this round here like so. Um, and that means we'll just be able to drive along. And uh, and get these planted along here. One. Cross here. And put another one. I'm going to put four to six along here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We can get uh, we can get six along here rather nicely, and then we'll put four down the other side. Uh, gives me a little bit of leeway. Okay, got one there, so let's put another one here. 
we have to see these grow as we cut our grass which is great i'm i'm uh, yeah i'm not sure about putting them in the grass that was definitely a suggestion for how i should do it but yeah i'm not i'm not sure about that it just for me it would cause a whole load of issues uh with uh, with that Bring this over here plenty of space down here to do this though get a couple in here twist that round down this corner is perfect and get three down here and then the last one will take back over the other way and uh, we'll do more towards our main camp the last one then i'm gonna put in this bit of a clearing here just to sort of like that and there we go that is all of our uh, planting done which is great we could now return this head uh, and possibly rework this uh, excavator a bit and maybe get rid of the least one I think would be a great idea uh, yeah in fact we are not going to use the least one again I think I think that can be returned and then uh yeah this one here we can hold on to and alter the head i think i left yeah the engine on on that so let's return this and stop that bleeding away my uh my money so uh return that yes okay it was nice having two sitting here but i think we can get away with just the single one now uh, and then I'm going to jump in the truck here. And we're going to go and check on the roller coaster. Uh, because uh, we need to know where we're going to move forward from here. And uh, yeah, the roller coaster being our main focus on here. That is what we need to go and check on. And here we go. Just around the corner and pull into here what is still needed for this uh wooden beams uh it has none right so that's uh that's what we need to uh to get cut and to supply for the roller coaster uh wooden beams so we need I'm slightly surprised. I thought we'd bought a load of wooden beams in. But apparently it needs 3,000 litres. So uh, that is going to be what we uh, concentrate on next time. Getting some wood cut. Uh, getting some wooden beams. Probably switching over the head on our excavator so that we can do that. Um, it's going to cost us about 32,000. I think we'll have that overnight from the metal. So that would be quite good. Uh, for now, though, I think it's good for us to uh, leave this here. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.